Good evening, and thank you very much for joining us. I'm Casey Koviak. Neil Barton is off tonight. New at 10, the fight against a concrete plant in Flint, just south of Tyler. Today, homeowners in that community are breathing a sigh of relief after the company pulls the plug on this controversial project. KETK's James Bowen has the details. After a year of uncertainty, the wait is over for many who live in Flint. We're proud to be a part of it. Tycon Ready Mix has officially abandoned its efforts to build a concrete plant in East Texas. It's good news for homeowners who are concerned about their property tanking due to the plant. Nobody wants to live right next to a big industrial concrete plant. Nobody does. And so if you've got a four or $500,000 or $300,000 house next to it, it's not going to be worth that because less people are going to want to live in it. While others say it's about the well-being of their families. They were concerned about their health and some said they were going to put their houses up for sale and even move to another area. The plant would have released hazardous chemicals like crystalline silica, a mineral found in cement which can become fatal once it enters the lungs. A cement type toxin that's hard on the lungs and so we had people in the area that that you know would be struggling with already lung issues that it would cause even greater damage to them. But he says the location of the plant doesn't matter. And so whether you live close or even up to a mile away, it's still going to affect you. It was along this stretch here on County Road 139 in Flint that the concrete plant was supposed to be built. However, the community bound together to make sure that that project did not happen. The state's Environmental Commission released statements to concerned residents, even setting up an online petition where Flint residents were able to express their concerns. And finally, last week, Tycon Ready Mix said it was finally not happening. The Tycon folks, to their credit, were willing to come together, talk with people in the community, and work together to come up with a solution, a win-win for everyone. Now that Tycon Ready Mix is moving their project elsewhere, the news is a weight off their roads and their shoulders. James Bowen, KTK News. The sale of the land was finalized last week. The community says local elected leaders like State Representative Matt Schaefer, State Senator Brian Hughes, and Smith County Judge Nathaniel Moran all played a part in helping them reach this final outcome.